Creo 10.0 provides additional flexibility to define the split trim body feature. The video illustrates the functional enhancement using a design task in which a predefined external body containing a dome geometry is inserted into the yellow plastic part. As three domes are required, the features are then patterned, trimmed and merged. To trim the dome bodies by the plastic part body, you can subtract the plastic part geometry from the inserted domes and then trim off the protruding volumes. When you define the split by volume operation from within the split trim body feature, you can now press the flip button to toggle between two definition schemes. The first definition scheme allows to select surfaces or surface regions that identify volumes that are intended to either be split out into a new body or to be trimmed away. While being straightforward, this could become problematic in particular if you want to define subsequent operations on the feature, such as reference patterns as illustrated here, or in situations that require to identify many volumes to be removed or split out. In Creo 10.0, you can now press the flip button to toggle to a flipped definition scheme. Selected surfaces and surface regions will then identify volumes that should be kept and stay in the original body. In that case, all other non-identified volumes are being split out or removed. For the mentioned situations, the new definition scheme can therefore help to define the feature in a more robust way so that it successfully regenerates even when being reference patterned or when the number of volume references varies. It can also significantly reduce the number of selections required in case many volumes need to be identified. Overall, this new flip option gives you more flexibility to efficiently define a split trim body feature for most stable and predictable regeneration.